It's Wes, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm excited to share with you my top advice for photographers, and I'm not doing it alone. I've invited two friends with me. So without further ado, let me introduce you to Joan Fuller. Hi, my name is Joan Fuller, and my business name is Joan Fuller Photography, and I live in Long Beach, California. My main camera is the Nikon D850, and my business is comprised mostly of corporate events. I, I probably do about 60% uh, corporate and social events and 40% weddings. My go-to lens is the um, 24 to 120 f4. And next, let me introduce you to Will Utley. My name is William Utley. I'm 42 years old at this moment in life, and I'm originally from um, Los Angeles, California, but I've traveled all over the US, but I call California home. The name of my business is William Utley Photography. My primary camera is, I'm a Canon guy, first and foremost. I, I like Nikon, but I'm a Canon guy. Um, I learned on Canon. I think Nikons are more professional in the sense of working with low light. However, I learned on Canon and I love the colors and the richness that's uh, drafted in camera that comes from a uh, Canon camera. My cameras that I own right now is a 5D Mark III and a 7D Mark uh, II. And my go-to lenses primarily are my Nifty 50 or uh, my 24 to 70, depending on what it is that I'm shooting. So these photographers have decades of experience and I'm gonna share my advice at the end, but right now we're gonna jump in and listen to Joan's advice for photographers. Let's turn over to Joan. The best advice, uh, I don't know if it was, I've, I've gotten a lot of good advice, but one golden moment for me was from uh, my first mentor um, when I was uh, started shooting weddings. I started assisting on weddings. And um, I was working at a studio and uh, Dick, great guy, really, really showed me the ropes in wedding photography. He taught me that sometimes you have to make something out of nothing. And I didn't really understand that until I was out on a wedding with him. And uh, the bride told us that her parents' house had just been landscaped and that we were gonna do her uh, portraits in the backyard and she was so excited about this environment. We were excited about you know this great backyard we were gonna shoot in and we showed up it was nothing. Uh, brick uh, walls around the yard and a little greenery at the ground. I mean, it, who knows what it looked like before. She thought it was fabulous, but it was nothing like what we imagined. Lush greenery and things that would be create a great background. And I looked at Dick and was like, I'm glad I'm second on this one, you know, like <laughs> make this work. And he walked me around the house and he just said, we have to make something out of nothing. And we looked at the front door and it was beautiful. She had this ornate, beautiful front door with a, a covered overhang with nice soft light coming in from the sides. And he took her to the front, put her in front of that door and did the most beautiful bridal portraits. And I was like, wow. And I'll never forget as long as I live because he really taught me how you can assess a situation and make something out of nothing. If you're just creative and just look at the possibilities. So that was a good lesson for me. That was great advice. All right, that was amazing. And I got to interview her for 90 minutes or so. So we're gonna share more content of that going forward. Let's see what Will says. Actually, I asked him this um, under a different question. Uh, best purchase as a photographer, but I'm gonna use it for his best advice answer and put it in this video with best advice. So let's hear what Will has to say about best advice for photographers. The best camera purchase I've ever made was insurance policy after you buy the camera. Let me tell you why. I went to Best Buy and I bought uh, my 5D Mark III, uh, Mark IV, and um, after uh, about a year, there was these weird pixelated lines in the, uh, in the photo. And I was saying like, what's going on with these Best Buy cameras, man? This is crap. And I'd had shoots where I have to format the card on RAW and JPEG because I wasn't sure what was gonna come out when I got the to my computer and I was editing. So I'm like, all the RAW images came out pixelated and I'm like, man, what's going on with these cameras? People are paying me money to shoot their images and these uh, capture these moments in time and they're coming out pixelated when I get to my house. And I'm like, you know what? I'm taking the camera back, this is crap. So I took the camera back to Best Buy and I said, I don't know what's going on, but I'm getting pixelated uh, quality from my raw images. What's going on? They're like, oh, no problem, sir. We'll take it back. They gave me a new camera. 
Tried it again. It was still pixelated. I'm like, <laughs> like these people are paying me money from these weddings, not, you know, headshots or these models trying to be cute on Instagram. Like, these are weddings. So I'm like, what's going on? Took it back again. They're like, no problem, sir. Here's a new camera. Finally, I get the camera and I'm like, okay, while I'm in store, I'll buy a new memory card. Bought a new memory card. It was the memory card's problem, not the camera. I was using an old memory card like from 2008, not updated with this new software. But shout out to Best Buy for returning the camera and giving me a new camera with new actuations. Now I'm starting from zero actuations versus the 100,000 I had from using it over a year. So the best camera purchase I've made was insurance. <laughs> because I was like, I got this new camera, it's faulty, it's wrong. Insurance is the best way to go. Um, and that's the good advice I can tell any new photographer is get insurance. It's gonna cost you a little bit, but you, I took, I got, a, I got three brand new cam, I got two brand new cameras when I turned it back in. Sorry, best buy. Awesome, I love both of these stories and I wanted to highlight these voices to share from other perspectives, other photographers with experience. And these are both uh, photographers I've worked with and um, I'm lucky to call friends. So. I'm gonna run down some of my top advice. One, shoot. Get out and shoot. Don't let any excuses uh, keep you from shooting daily. Um, or if you can't get out daily, weekly. But keep shoot, keep that edge sharp. Two, invest in good equipment. So the first advice is shoot no matter what you have. Use your phone, use whatever it is. Two is invest in good equipment for yourself. Take yourself seriously. Three, invest in education. So just get out and shoot, invest in yourself with good equipment, and invest in yourself with good education. Now, two and three, I these are things that I actually um, kind of lacked in. I didn't invest in the camera till last year, even though I've been shooting for 10 years as a freelance photographer. Um, I borrowed cameras, honestly. And so investing in the Canon EOS R was the first best thing that I did to help me elevate my skills and take myself seriously. And then the second thing is invest in your education. So in the last year, my wife has been telling me this for years, take a photography class, Wes, take a photography class. And this last year I took um, some Skillshare courses. I took one from Justin Bridges, who's a photographer in New York. And um, I really came away with a lot of good knowledge. There's another one I took that helped me with lighting and some of the lighting I use is from that course and his recommendation list. So those are my top three pieces of advice. Get out and shoot no matter what you have, invest in good equipment and invest in your education. All right, that's it. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you to Joan, thank you to Will, and um, I value their friendship, and I hope you look them up on Instagram. I'll put their uh, info below, and follow them. Their work is great, they're stellar human beings, and uh, thank you for joining. If you liked any part of this video, please subscribe, give it a like, leave me a comment. I would love if you would give a shout out to another photographer who's influenced you, who's given you good information, um, and helps you along the way with good advice. Give them a shout out in the comments below. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.